Hi there Royals, my name is Sianoki and it's always a pleasure to have you here. I make beads and I said every now and then I'll be sharing beading tutorial. I've already shared one um, beaded box tutorial but today I'll be sharing with you how to make this spiral necklace. I had an urgent order so I decided to film it and share it. So let's get started. You can use any size of beads you want for this tutorial. When it comes to sizes of beads, I'm not the best at all. So just use any size of beads that you want. And I'll be using this good seed beads and then white. Should I call it white or plain? For the purpose of this tutorial, let's call it white. And then I'll be using a far line of 0.3. So this is what I'm going to do. I try my best to explain this the best way I can. So we have three um, gold seed beads, one white, another three gold bead, um, seed beads, one white. So I think what I'll do is that I'll rather write it out to make it easy to follow. Okay, so you're having three gold, one white, three gold, one white, three gold, one white. Yeah, four, four of them like that. So when I'm done, I'll just tie everything together, just to to bring everything together to form a loop, to form a circle and sheep trying. <laughs> So when I, I, once I bring everything together, I'm going to pass the needle through the very first white bead. And then I'll pull the strand to the end. Okay. Then I pick one white and three good seed beads. And then I'm going to put it in the next white bead I see. Okay the very next white bead i see i'll put i'll pass it through that white bead i'll pick white one white again three gold so that's all you're going to be picking throughout this tutorial beading is a pattern once you get to know the pattern you are good to go and then i'm going to pass it through the white seed bead so basically this is what i'm going to do three gold one white seed beads three gold seed beads pass it to the next white bead so as you can see this, this is the very first layer there is one white at the bottom and one white at the top so our next one white and three gold seed beads will pass it to the white at the top so this is what we have okay so i'm sorry about the camera it wasn't filming properly but i pre able to get it so yeah you see there's one down and there's one up always look at the one at the top you always be passing it through the one at the top So I'm taking another white, three gold seed beads. See this one? Yeah, that's the one at the top. At this point, you may not be taking shape. You may not see how until you, you make a number of them. So basically, I may be just repeating myself because this is all you are going to do throughout. Beading is about getting your patterns and having some time at your disposal because it does take a lot of time. So once you get your pattern, you are good to go. So kindly just observe how I am doing this. So basically that is that and when your strand is short this is how you you can add on 
another strand so i'm making the loop as if i'm tying something but i'm not going to tie it and i'm going to put the short strand pass it through it and then just tie it now then i can take the strand that i was using to be then the new strand and then tie it together i'll tie this several times just to secure it so that is how i add on another strand and when it comes to beading i think it's, it's creativity is it's doing stuff your way you don't necessarily have to get the same thing sometimes you'll be trying someone's design and then you end up with your own design it becomes yours you know and it's sometimes it, it, it really does take time but if you are really passionate about beading you like to bead you don't have to give up easily just keep trying and keep trying you'll get it <coughs> Sorry, there's so much noise in the background today. I wanted to measure this necklace so that I could share with you the length of the necklace but then unfortunately I was so much in a hurry to get it you know delivered to the person so I couldn't do that so you can just gauge and then um, do it the way you want it now at this point I'm trying to end the necklace I'm trying to close it and add a clasp onto it so I'm going to reduce the seed beads that I'm counting three to two so it's going to be one plane and then um three yeah sorry it's going to be one plane and then two gold seed beads so just like this i'm just using one plane and two gold. so i'm going to follow the same thing but you see because i'm reducing the number it is going to close and please be creative about this you see i've now reduced it from um, one one white to one gold and it has all come together so i'm using two crystal beads and you can use anything at all you want as i said creativity has no rules you can use a pearl you can even use the same seed beads to do this so i am using crystal beads to close it this is my clasp i'm just there's this hole i'm passing it through and then i'll go back into the two crystal beads And then I'll pass it through, you know, so many. I'll pass it through uh, some of the beads. Now I want to come back again. I want to come back through the crystal beads and pass through the loop. I want it to be very secure. So I'm finding my way back, passing through the seed beads. I want to pass through where the strands, um, like follow the strands. Don't move out of line i don't know if you get that and um, yeah so i'm going straight back pass it through the loop again and then pass it through the crystal beads again okay so now at this point i am going to go to as many seeds beads as possible i like to do that but just be following the strand don't change the pattern you see where the strands are coming out of just be passing your needle through them i do that to be sure that everything is well secure you don't want to uh, make necklaces for people and then it gets torn it's it's not a very pleasant thing so we want to go through as many seed beads as possible and then you just tie it when the strand is short now you see where i tied the bead from the beginning there was some strand left i'm just going to add on another strand so that i'll do the other end of the necklace so i just follow the same process and i'm passing through as many seed beads 
as possible. I hope this is clear. <laughs> if this is not, like, I'll try my possible best to see if you know I can do another one. But you can reach me on Instagram at Sianloki with your questions or at Diki Love, any of them. So just as much as possible to reach me if you have some personal questions and all. You can also put your, your your questions in the comment section. Yeah, so this is it. I'm, I'm done with the necklace. I hope this was easy to follow. I, I hope I tried. <laughs> yeah, so um, this is it. And then for the for the bracelets, what what I did was I reduced this. So that is how flexible this can be. You can just do it your way, count it your way. So for the bracelet, you have three, one, three, one, three, one, and then I reduced it to get this. So here we are. Yeah, this is how the bracelet looks. And sometimes, I, most of the times, I do this because you don't know who is going to wear it. It may be too small, you know. So I always like to add this extra chain so that you know it will make it um, flexible. And then I added these earrings. When I have some time, I may just share, you know, the tutorial of those as well. So royals, this is it for today. Um, I hope it is beginner friendly. I doubt if it is, but I hope it helps someone, you know. And then, yeah, that is it. So thank you so much once again for joining me. Please don't forget to smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you again in another video. Stay safe, stay blessed.